Hi, it's Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at a variation when we're talking about relationship investigations. So variation, there's three main types that we look for. So we look for whether the variation is pretty constant, whether it is a fan or funnel effect, which means my variation is either increasing or decreasing. Now when I talk about variation, I'm always talking about variation on the y-axis or the vertical axis. So it's talking about the variation in my response variable. So let's have a look at this one here, so this car investigation. We're looking at the weights of the cars versus the price in thousands of dollars. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw my blob around the data, and I've got all the data included this time. And what I want to look is I want to look at how wide it is for different weights of cars. So I can see there for low weights of cars around 800 and 900 um, kilograms, the variations in the price is quite small. When I look at prices around, oh, sorry, cars that weigh around 1,100 to 1,200, the variation's a little bit wider. And when I get to cars that weigh between 1,600 to 1,800, though there's a lot more variation in their price. So in this case, we have a fan effect or the variation increasing as the weight increases. And so that's what we want to be able to write out as a pattern. So we can talk about as the weight of the car increases, and we always do this as the explanatory variable increases. So as the weight of the car increases, the variation in the price is increasing. So there's one example for us. Let's have a look at a second example. So now I've got a graph looking at the fuel efficiency of the cars on the open road. Um, so how many miles per gallon they can get, and their price in thousands of dollars. So I'm going to draw my blob around the data there, and then I'm going to look for different fuel efficiencies, what, how wide is that variation. And I can see for low fuel efficiencies, there's quite a lot of variation in the price. For very, um, fuel efficiencies that are in the middle, there's, there's a moderate amount of variation. In the price and then for high fuel efficiencies there's a lot less variation in the price so this is a funnel effect or talking about the variation in the price decreases so we're going to say as our fuel efficiency of the car on open roads increases the variation in the price is decreasing and another example here is looking at cars again and looking at the fuel efficiency of driving in the city versus the fuel efficiency of driving on open roads. So how many gallons per mile do they get when they're driving in these different environments? So if I draw my blob around the data and again look for how much variation there is for low values, medium values and higher values. And we notice that that variation is quite similar. So when we're looking for variation, think about double, triple, quadruple the size. We're looking for big changes in variation, not smallish changes. So for this one, I can talk about how the fuel efficiency of cars when they drive in the city, as that increases, the variation in the fuel efficiency of cars on the open road is roughly constant. So there's a pretty constant relationship between the, and the variation for the city and open road graph. Thanks very much for watching.